Hey everybody, Brian Jenkins here with Circuit Crush TV. And yesterday we unboxed a self-balancing robot kit. And today I put the kit together and I want to talk about the assembly. So let's start with the tools that came with the kit. It came with this little screwdriver and it came with this little Allen wrench. Now there's other tools that you're going to find helpful to assemble it. Of course, needle nose pliers always work. For holding the nuts while you're turning the screw getting it nice and tight and I also found this little magnet here this is um, a rare earth neobidium magnet pretty pretty powerful and what I did to get the screw started so that I don't have three hands is I would put the magnet on the shaft of the screwdriver like this which would make the shaft of the screwdriver pretty much magnetic so I could just put the screw on the tip and then tilt it any which way and it wouldn't fall off so if you have some kind of strong magnet like this, this may help when you're assembling the kit. And the final thing that I found helpful was this. This tool is just a, um, a little tool for taking apart phones and tablets. And since I don't have fingernails, I use this tool to peel that brown paper off of the clear plexiglass. And you can see the, the here and here there's two pieces since I don't have fingernails. Now if you have fingernails you may not need something like this but I found it easy to use especially here where you have like the letters and a company logo. I don't know if you could see that but little bits of brown paper would stick there and then this just scraped it right off. So the assembly took me about 40 minutes total and another thing I liked about the kit was you see here it comes with some extra hardware. So that's great. I, I really do like that because if you happen to drop a screw or a nut while you're assembling this thing and lose it, um, you have some extras. So let's talk about the box. Now I can't, obviously I can't stand it up and I don't have the proper batteries yet. I got to go get some. So I can't really run the bot yet and um, I'm going to program it eventually. But assembly here wasn't bad. It was actually easier than the key bot. Again, I got about 40 minutes into this, and it was just a matter of one of the first things we had to do was mount the battery case, and then these brackets here, which hold the motors, and then the wheels pop on, and then they're attached with a screw. And then we have these pillars, which hold the Arduino board on the bottom, then it's their shield for the balancing made by Key Studio, and then we have an XB Bluetooth module here. And this just kind of plugs right in, as you probably know, shields plug right into the Arduino. And, um, and we mounted the top piece. So assembly was not bad at all. Again, if you're dealing with, you know, somebody on the younger side, 8, 10, 12 years old, they may need a little help from, uh, uh, you know, an older teen or an adult. But for the most part, assembling this thing was a breeze. Now, we see we got all these crazy wires here from the motors. And the kit comes with this stuff. And the book doesn't really explain what to do with this. But just as I suspected, um, there's two of them here. This can wrap around these wires. And I haven't had a chance to do that yet. Because, I mean, that could be part of the assembly, I guess. But when I get a chance, I'm going to wrap these wires to make them neat and maybe just maybe, I don't know, zip tie them to one of these pillars or something, because right now they're kind of in the way, and when I start to run this thing, I don't want to see the wires getting tangled on, on the wheels or getting caught on um, objects that happen to be in the path of the bot. So that's pretty much it. This was a real easy assembly, and I'm looking forward to programming it. Now, unlike the key bot, there is no CD with any kind of example programs or anything on here. What they did was they gave you, and I haven't actually tried this yet, but let me find it here. Um, they gave you some QR codes to scan, and, and here it talks about, I guess, the projects that you can get, and I guess you can grab the code if you scan this QR, or maybe go on their website and enter that code if you're using a laptop, desktop, whatever. But um, I'm going to get to that next. When I get a chance, I'm going to try to, you know, download some of this code for some of these projects and play with it. And I'm going to wrap these wires 
to make it neater. But that's about it, guys. All in all, I say it was um easy project to build. Great for people ages 8 up through mid to late teens, you know, middle school, high school. And um, we will touch bases again when I get a chance to program the robot. Want to learn more about Arduino and microcontrollers? Get free access to my new course, Arduino Academy, by clicking the link in the description below.